You know this situation. On the one side, we have a lot of documents. On the other side, we have the SAP system. Now, how I can get these documents inside the SAP system? So it seems to be an easy question, but in detail, it can be very complex to find the right resolution, to find the right format, PDF or TIFF, to find the right uh, object inside the SAP system. A lot of stuff we have to handle for. But Impunto develops the bis to scanner for SAP. It's a capture software for SAP. And I want to show you how easy it is to handle it, the, the paper documents uh, with the bis to scanner uh, for SAP to put these documents inside the SAP system. I want to show you two examples how easy it is uh, to handle the bis to scanner for SAP. On the one side, we have the transaction FB03. This is a financial oriented transaction, for example, you know it. Uh, you see here over there that's uh, display the document, and you know the generic object services, for example. The uh, uh, generic object services means that we have some functionality around the object. We, we are uh, call this uh, functionality, and in this case, there's nothing attached document uh, in uh, to to the object. So, what can we do? It's an easy way to create a, a document, to scan a document. For example, you go to the menu bar, you select scan document, and coming from the customizing from SAP, you can select different archive link document types. For example, in this case, something like incoming payment, for example. This means that the BIST scanner is integrated into the SAP GUI, started in the context of the, of the object, and now we have the possibility to scan very easily these information. One or more pages, um, single pages on the one side or duplex, doesn't matter. So we have uh, quick resolutions here over there. We scan the document. And finish the scan process. After a little control, you can rotate, of course, and uh, store these information. So you see the scan for income and payment for this document type was created. And now with the menu, with the attachment list, we find this entry, this document, uh, which is linked to the uh, FE object. Uh, we'll double click this to viewer started, another tool from Impunto, and you see the document. This is one possibility. This is the integration of the business scanner into the generic object services. Another possibility is to use the BISTA scanner in the document info record in the DMS system from SAP. And this means that we have, uh, we want to create, uh, we want to create a document and document info record, for example. Then we type the description, for example, test. And now we have the possibility to integrate us if we want to create the original with a specific application. In this case, we have this in the SAP customizing. Also, we type the description, and now we want to create this thing. And the business scanner started in the context of the document info record. Also included is, uh, is an upload possibility with a shared with a shared folder, for example. And then we transfer these information to the SAP system. In this case, it's uh, temporarily checked out, so we have the possibility to check in to choose the the content repository for this set, the selection, and we store it and finish. That's all. So I showed you the two examples of the integration with uh, integration of the SAP generic object services, and the other. Uh, integration was into the document management system and to, to generate a document info record, for example. And we have more possibilities. For example, to use the business scanner also as an external capture software. 
But in this case, we have also a connection to the SAP system. We have also an RFC communication to the SAP system. And so only uh, these users with, the, with the, a definition of roles and authority can use the business scanner in this context. Of course, we uh, support integration in the sub records management. It's the, the formal name of the folder management, actual. Or also, we have the possibility to use the business scanner as a pure Windows tool. But uh, in the next step, I want to show you the, the user interface of the business scanner. So we have uh, easily browsing through the multiple single documents. For example, here we are uh, on the three page of uh, on the third page of the of the three pages, and now we can change, we can rotate, of course, these information, and uh, of course we can add additional uh, additional uh, page or more pages, for example, uh, also in another resolution or colored. In this case, now the document scanner will start. Okay, now you see the first one was the black and white, the overview, then the new scan page in colored 24 bit. Uh, and uh, the next page always in black and white. You can easily handle these information. You can hidden the, the relevant information, for example. And this means that the uh, non-professional user can also use the business scanner. Uh, of course, we have an upload possibility. If you want to use an uh, import file, if, if you want to use a share, for example, then we can add this directory directly from the business scanner. And is reading out the TIFF information uh, which lying in this share or the PDF, for example. And it's very easy. You put a click on it, insert this. Next one, insert and close. And now you will find this information inside your scanned document. Of course, you can view, you can zoom in, zoom out. And uh, the very important thing is if you change your parameters here, for, for example, with scanning, and we store this information, then the next, in, uh, the, the next call of the business scanner will recognize the, the latest uh, parameter, for example. So in this example, we want to create uh, the next document. And you will see the last thing uh, we start was 24-bit. Uh, and now the business scanner starts with this profile. And uh, this is very easy to handle. And of course, we can support the direct train dialog from the uh, supplier. Uh, in this case, we have a, a, a codec system, and so if we get on the train dialog in detail, we also support the original train driver in, uh, in this case from this supplier. I thank you for your attention. I hope you get a little overview about the functionality and uh, the handling of the business scanner. And of course, Impunctu offers a lot of webinars in this area. And in this webinars, we show you different scenarios and so, and if you have some question, please ask me directly in these webinars and we can answer this directly so you get a full, full information for this tool.